Oh, they did this one right! There are not many games I can think of that deserve and need the remake treatment more than Persona 3. And now that Persona 3 Reload or P3R, why does that sound like a Star Wars droid's name? Has come out and I have found myself lost in this freaking story all over again. Ever since I saw the trailer back in June of 2023, not only did I think that the game looked absolutely amazing, but incorporating little details such as the MC falling into the water on the pause screen or the new mechanics introduced made it more appealing than just... Persona 3 with cool graphics. Like somebody understood the freaking assignment. I went on pre to the special edition, unboxed it in TikTok and all, and I cannot tell you how excited I was to start playing this right away, not only to give my first impressions, but also because Persona 3 has some of my favorite story in any piece of media I've ever experienced. The study of death and celebration of life that Persona 3 depicts is one that I hold close to my heart as someone that has dealt with many losses in his life, just as anyone else out there. I don't think I can say anything about the original release that hasn't been said before, but I can at least let you know where I come from and what my expectations for this were before going in. I play Persona 3 Portable or P3P, again with these freaking droid sounding names, and I actually loved it. I really appreciated the more condensed graphic novel direction the game had at the time, and the fact that you could control your party members was what made me gravitate towards that version of the game. And after finishing that game and of course playing Persona 5, like many people, I started thinking how much better this game could be come if you could get a remake that fixed most if not all of the problems that came with the limitations of the software at the time. Then getting my wish granted and me offering at least 12 black goats in sacrifice to Nyx in order to show my eternal gratitude, I start to set my own expectations on what I wanted this game to be in my mind. As I feel this is important when it comes to this type of releases. When we all hear the word remake, we never really have any way of knowing what will come out. Some people stay in the camp of wanting a faithful retelling, whilst others may want innovation out of the new experience, uh, you can see the debate of FF7R freak to understand better what I mean. For my expectations, however, I wanted first and foremost the same key plot points untouched in the main story. But I won't really mind them shuffling things around a bit if it helped everything makes a little bit more sense, or well, maybe increasing the presence of, let's say, Stregas or that are a little bit more relevant throughout the story, I mean, also of course, maybe give every party member their own social link as well if you can. So there isn't much of experience that I can actually talk about the story yet, but I can say the new style and voice dialogues for both the main party and especially the social links help their personalities shine a bit more and make them way more interesting than before. A big thing with the social links in Persona 3 is that they were more forgettable than the ones in Persona 4 and 5, and it doesn't seem like you are going to be able to have your main male party members as social links, sadly, but I mean as long as the story fleshes them out as well as the previous one, it's if not better than it shouldn't really be a problem. It's just something I really hope for originally. And for what I've seen from some of the new mechanics that I will talk about later, it really seems like that's going to be the case. There have been few changes that I was able to spot here and there, but so far nothing major at the moment when it comes to updates in the main story. It seems they have toned down some of the more problematic social links, at least to a degree, although again, this could change for the better or worse later on as I keep playing, and I do want them to either fix certain controversial points of certain social links, or at the very least delve a bit more into them since some of them were rather unceremoniously in the way they ended in the original game. But do keep the pink alligator. Do not freaking touch the pink alligator. Although I did kind of want you to kick this little fuck out of the game, Atlas, not gonna lie. I have also read that P3R does self flesh the main story and make it a little bit more cohesive than the original release, but I can only really comment this once I finish the game. Without getting too deep into spoilers, I want them to... Um, not give you the ability to take back certain moments that added to the message of the story like you could in FES or Portable, if you know you know. Also it seems like the answer will come out as a DLC later on, so if there's any piece of this remake that needs to substantially change, it has to be this one right here. There was a lot of potential in the answer originally for the story, but its execution was flawed to say the least, again, if you know you know. Moving along, the art style was also perfect in the trailers. Look at Makoto falling into the water! But I also wish for a bigger redesign of Tartar Sauce and the boss shadows too, if possible, even if a little bit. Similar to what they did with the main character's battle uniforms, cause this... Well, this shit's just plain hot. And, well... 
I think the art style of P3 Art is better than Persona 5, okay? It might be a hot take or not, I don't know, but P3 Art feels way more cinematic and impactful. This is very noticeable in the way Critical hits Trigger with the cutting breaking emulating the characters shooting themselves, the color palette, lightning and cell shading. They all feel smoother than P5, and while some of the NPCs out in the world look rough to say the least. Why are they both like... Are they supposed to be like flirting in the corner like... Fights are super smooth, and even the little details in the UI, like the weekday display here, is so mwah, so stylish yet subtle. The animated 2D portraits are very expressive and well made, and this game has by far my favorite all attack animation screens as well as victory poses after the battles. Shadows also look pretty neat, even though the models have not changed that much, if at all. With the new cell shading, they really pop out quite nicely. Tartarus, though, this baby received probably the best treatment in this remake. And to be honest, it kinda had to. This is the only dungeon in the game, kinda. And while I like the progression on the original Tartarus, it was very bland and uninteresting at first, making it boring to traverse the more you play, but I absolutely love how Tartarus look now. Are you even, are you kidding me? It's even in the first block. The crow's feathers just flying about and how it constantly is moving like a giant mechanism, make it feel alive and pulsating. It makes me excited to see just how each of its blocks is going to change the more I go up. They also have like more dedicated rooms for treasures and such. And even those little additions, breakable object thing is making it more interactable, like it feels alive. <laughs> like I even like how now the treasure chests, they look like proper freaking treasure chests and not like weird out of play briefcases like in the first game. But the price, that goes to the pause menu. You thought Persona 5 pause menu was cool? This menu, this menu, look at it, look at it, it's so pretty. I smile like Spongebob every time I press start. <coughs> sick at the moment and I shouldn't be screaming like this. Anyways, all in all, I guess I was just expecting them to modernize the experience and update aspects of the story of all in complaining about for so long, but I also want to give Atlas the chance to surprise me with things I'm not expecting. Let them boys cook. Let's see what else. Oh, and the new opening, it's perfect. Like, I almost shed a tear the first time I saw it. It's perfect at condensing the first half of the story in a way that piques your curiosity, but there is one thing, there's one complaint I need to address here. See, in the original Persona 3, This song with this imagery, this is Persona 3. It encapsulates so well what the experience you're going to undergo is like. The slow and beautiful piano echoes while the moon shines on the title of the game, evoking beauty, sadness, fleeting memories, and acceptance. It's just... Memento Mori, man. Memento Mori. And then for the remake, they... Alright, like... Like, okay, I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that cares about this, but start screens in video games, they're so important to me. It's a great way to pump you before you start playing each time, or well, back in the day at the release. And also shows a brief window into what you're about to experience. Like, Persona 5 got this, dude. And... they got the huge moon and the classroom, right? And I guess I do like the silhouette of C's in there as well. And okay, to give credit where credit is due, it's kind of fitting that it's just dead silence. Get it? <laughs> but... Uh, brand new days, East Persona 3, dude! Uh, well, I still have memories of you, you better, Atlas, you better not touch memories of you, I swear, man, to make me do something crazy. Anyway, so all in all, I think I have my expectations, with one solid disappointment so far, but I will accept that I am more open to giving this remake a fair chance and let it surprise me more later on. And lastly, really quickly, I want to tackle the music and gameplay, because I feel these two were like the biggest challenges for this remake, besides the updated art style, because, well, yeah, no shit that we're going to land the art style, of course it was gonna be awesome. 
The music in Persona 3 is... You know what, even if you don't know Persona level of iconic, and for them to update the tracks was slightly dangerous as they could have ended up ruining what was already a perfect set of tracks for this game. And they did dip their toes on that water when they released Persona 3 Dancing, but I will say, out of all the new tracks, it's going down now as a new Advantage Battle theme, and Full Moon Full Life is a perfect opening song for this story. The remake tracks, however... I split right in the middle. If I can summarize it a bit, all of the everyday tracks are great, but the battle tracks are uh, lacking a little bit of the oomph of the original game. But they're, they are not bad at all. They're, it's not that bad. Someone with an actual background in music will probably be able to explain this better, but okay, here, listen to the original Mass Destruction version. Now listen to the remake version. Doesn't it feel like there's less weight to it? Like, it feels like bits and pieces were taken out and it was cleaned up a little bit too much, making the song lack a bit of the original charm and personality of that rebellious in your face attitude. But then again, that might just be me and my love for the original tracks. And to wrap up, I'm gonna do a lightning round for the game new mechanics and how they changed the flow of the game itself. The new roadblock mechanic is something I never thought these games needed, but now that we have it, I don't know how we went so far without having it. The ability to rewind some of the time in your playthrough helps immensely and it removes the need of saves coming. The network mode that shows you what other players did that day is fantastic and it helps you decide very effectively what to do on that day as well as guide you a little bit without spoiling the game. Twilight Farm is our gradation and you're just screw this, I'm not gonna keep doing this fast talking BS, like, nope, too much. Okay, so like I was saying, Twilight Fragments are a great addition to make sure you avoid relying on money for the clock at the base of the Tartarus that heals you, and they also open the new lock chests. It is also a great way to incentivize exploration and not just teleport all over the place, as you can find them laying around pretty much everywhere, including the little breakable lamp things all over Tartarus. Not really a change, but I thought it was cute how in the combat tutorials they did not let you control your party members to make you think it was gonna be like the original in which you couldn't control them, just for them to later be like, nah, I'm playing, man, here, you can control your party members. The game also did a couple more things like that here and there, and I thought it was very cute how they were being cheeky with all their players. Shift is basically baton pass from Persona 5 with all the power boost, I think. Same as in there, it feels great, but it now feels like a regular series mechanic, which I don't really have a problem with, helps with the flow of battle more, and it mitigates a lot of the annoying encounters the original game had. The Thurgy, Thurgy, I don't know how the hell you pronounce that. Thurgy. That system. Thurgy. The new limit break system. Thurgy. It's cool, I like those type of systems. I think it might have come from Royale, but I haven't played that yet, so here, cool. I especially like how each character has different activation mechanics that fit with their personalities a lot. The dash helps you a lot with Tartarus exploration, love it. I love being able to do shit on my dorm with like my social links now, it's cute, it makes me feel like I'm hanging out with my butts. 10 out of 10, they also help with the social stats, more of these, please and thank you. I also saw on the trailer so you can pet Koromaru. <laughs> This is officially my game of the year. Side episodes. From what I read, they help a lot with the season interaction, and whatever makes you get to know and bond more with them, plus in my book. Lastly, you can now go to karaoke and see the main character doing this. I repeat, this is now my game of the year.
I think that covers pretty much everything I wanted to tackle as my first impressions of this game. I have so much of this game to consume and get through and I will probably stuck with it for a while but for now I can say that this game has been the answer to all of my expectations and while I'm hoping it surpasses them the journey until then will definitely be one that I will be taking with the biggest smile in my face even if it does bring mass destruction to my social life but hey it's going down now I ain't going to apologize for that don't look at me you're just mad because you never see it um, no, but in all seriousness, do go play Persona 3 Reload, this game is amazing and it is an absolute treat, but if you do live in the West, be careful, you can get a Chinese copy by accident, so yeah. Okay, I'm out, uh, remember to hydrate, stretch, uh, to be continued shit, okay, cool, I gotta go play more Persona. Jana!